You ready, Rocco? Yeah. All right. I mean, first of all, um, give credit to Florida State. Their kids played hard, came out in hard fought game. It was, a, it was a very physical game tonight. Uh, both sides, um, sidelines, had a lot of guys that got injured. Um, you know, including you know us even before the game. Tyon was going to be a, a game time decision. He went through warm ups, decided to hold him. Uh, wasn't he's close, but not quite ready. Um, T Trevor Reed went out. I think uh, first drive at left tackle and was not able to come back into the game. And um, Wiggins went out second drive uh, with, a, with a, I think a foot injury um, and was not able to come back in the game. Um, you know, and then um, T. Huddy kind of in and out. And, and so you just, you know, a lot of moving parts there when you think about guys getting out. But it was a physical game. They had some guys that were out as well. Um, you know, I think first half we were, we were in control of the game, uh, battling. Um, Offense and defense it was a close contest. Really and truly, we should have been up more, at least two scores. Um, you know, had to turn over in the red zone, had to turn over at midfield when we're driving the ball uh, in control. I think we ran 47 plays in the first half and, uh, you know, came out in the second half and their, their first drive, they, they take a drive down, six minute drive, and, and ended up scoring um, to put them back in it. Kids battled, got back in it, got back on top. Um, and, you know, they hit, they hit some big plays on us in the second half. I think, you know, more to fourth quarter. When you think about uh, second and 14, to me, was the play of the day. Um, our defense, and it was second and 14. They hit a post route on us. They got them, you know, down and down inside the red zone. Um, ended up scoring right there. That was, a, that was a huge play. I felt like we had a lot of momentum at that point in time. And, um, you know, and from that point, we were battling. And we still had an opportunity. We get to midfield. Um, and... And went for it on fourth, got to complete the catch. It would have been a first down, and who knows after that. Well, our defense, you know, stood up, held them to a field goal, missed a field goal. Now we got another opportunity. A uh, minute and 20, uh, one time out, drive down the field, and, you know, had a couple of opportunities to make plays, didn't make them. And um, ultimately, that's what it was. And I, the last play, I think Malik was trying to hit uh, Huggins Bruce on the sideline. He was open, kind of ball just settled a little bit, and the DB made the interception there at the end. But, um, you know, it's just very hurt, hurtful and disappointing by, our, you know, not being able to, to, to win this game. Um, again, I felt we know Florida State's a good football team, but we were right there and going toe-to-toe -to -toe and in control of the game until late. Uh, Coach, just as far as, you know, it seemed like, uh, it seemed like uh, your team had a lot of advantages going into halftime, had the lead, didn't necessarily play your best ball, but had, had the seven-point lead. Offense seemed to be playing well. Malik seemed to be locked in, throwing the ball well. Defense was playing well. Was a situation where maybe because Travis went out, team maybe let off the gas a little bit? Did you feel any of that? Where, you know? No, I don't feel that, but I do think they came out in the second half and they went more uh, 12 person, two tight end sets, um, and I felt like they were slowing it down. You know, we ran a lot of plays in the first half, and I thought we were wearing our defense out. Well, the first drive, they come out and go two tight ends, slowing it down, running the ball more, and then play action, trying to take some shots. That's kind of seemed to be their plan in the second half, um, maybe limit our opportunities offensively. And, and I think they've succeeded in doing that. Um, you know, I, we didn't really try to take the foot off the gas, I can tell you. I mean, we're, we're, we're calling plays to try to move the ball down the field, and we didn't – we didn't stop calling those. I mean, you know, we were we were trying to take some shots down the field. We were hit hit a big nice crosser to Mar um, Amari um, to get down there. You know, Malik's had some good runs in there in the second half, and um, we got stalled one time. We got down um, inside the red zone, had to settle for a field goal. Um, you know, and then you know just didn't didn't score enough points ultimately. I mean, I think you know offensively had over 500 yards and 31 points. We didn't we just didn't we didn't hold them to an under you know that amount. And I think ultimately that was the end. Again, I mentioned that post. That was a huge play. That was a huge play in the game momentum-wise. When you got them second and 14, backed up, you knocked that ball down, you got a big stop, and we get the ball back and uh, with the lead. And I think that's, that was a huge point. Coach, Johnny Wilson had uh, seven receptions, 149 yards, and two touchdowns. What made him so difficult to defend tonight? Is that the big guy? Yeah. Yeah, that's what made him difficult. I mean, he's 6'7", 200-and-some pounds, one-on-one -on -one locked with a corner over there. Um, he's a hard guy to cover. Um, you know, we're trying to get more guys down into the box to stop the run. And when you do that, you're going to be vulnerable. Um, you know, we got to play better outside. You know, we got to play better outside. And we had a couple of PIs as well, pass interference on, on penalties, you know, trying to cover them on, on some of those skinny post routes they, they were hitting. Um, you know, the last touchdown they hit, I mean, uh, Brownlee's right there. It's great coverage. And they threw it way in the back of the end zone, you know, and he caught it and, you know, barely had a foot in. That was, that was a heck of a play. And, uh, 
you know, he's a weapon at 6'7". You know, um, our guys aren't that tall at corner. And so, and I think that's, that's probably the most difficult thing. And that ball was, we were on one yard line. That was third down or fourth. I can't remember. I think it was third on, on the one yard line. And we had stuffed them, stuffed them, stuffed them. And then they had to settle for a fade in the back corner and they ended up getting it. That's it's pretty good defense, but sometimes 6'7 is a little bit better. You mentioned the, the turnovers, also 11 penalties tonight. It seems like another game where there were opportunities. You mentioned a number of opportunities there where, you know, something happens where you shoot yourself in the foot, so to speak. Yeah. What's the cause of that, and what can you do, to, I guess, to, you know, to, to alleviate most of it mm-hmm. at least? Well, I know three of them were false starts when, when we were getting ready to snap the ball, and they were yelling, move, and they moved their D-line, and we, you know, we move. Right, we're getting ready to snap the ball. That was three of them out, out, out of those. We had we had an offsides by Yasir, you know, barely barely offsides. They got him on that, and we had, like I mentioned, those two PI penalties. Um, we had two in the kicking game, you know, and that's disappointing. We hadn't had any kicking game in, in the first two games, and we had two tonight. We had a holding penalty um, uh, on that, and then we had a, we had two holding penalties on a punt return and, a, and, a, and another one. So so it's really all three phases that contributed to that. It wasn't you know it wasn't just one. One side of the ball, uh, you know, with the penalties. But, again, they, they hurt you big time. Coach, Jordan Travis gets hurt, comes out of the game. Roadmaker comes in. Had you guys been able to study any film on him or been able to see anything on him? Uh, because it, it seemed like Florida State, they was just business as usual for them. Well, I think, it, I think it's a little bit different game plan. If you looked at the second half to what they did, they went more two tight ends, running the football, keeping him in the pocket, taking shots. I mean, he's not going to be the runner. I, you know, he did get around one time, got a first down. We lost contain on that one. But their plan was not to run him. You know, their plan was to, to run the running back. And, I, you know, Ward had a big game, 126 yards. And so in the second half, that's what they were able to do and then take shots. He is a good passer. And, and he was able to hit some of those balls and, and some tight windows. And like I mentioned, the touchdown pass, that was a good throw. Um, you know, they were running some RPOs in the second half to where, you know, a, a skinny uh, or, you know, a skinny post or, or hand the ball off, depending on what coverage you were in. And so um, he did a good job with that. And, um, you know, he, we knew he could throw the football. I mean, that, you know, but I do think they changed their game plan in the second half once he was going to be the guy. Coach, coming off the uh, the difficult week one loss, um, you know, and this is a tough loss at home tonight. Um, what is going to be your message to the team, or what do you need to do to get them refocused so this one loss doesn't turn yeah. into two or three? Well, I mean, it's, it's one. They're all one game seasons. I mean, you got to do the best you can do with, with, with whatever you get ready to play. And so our focus will be everything will be on South Florida on Sunday when we get back in. Um, you know, everything we have to put into that game to go in and play our very very best game. Um, you can't you can't dwell on the past, win or loss. You you learn from it, but you can't dwell on it. And then you come back and you really focus on what you got to get better at. And it's um, it's everybody. It's it's all all the players, all the coaches. Everybody's got to find something to get better at. Um, you know. And I thought I, they, our kids fought hard. I mean, they played hard tonight, and uh, they got after it. And you know, well, again, we got to be smarter in what we're doing. Not not the the, the penalties, the turnovers. Again, is what's disappointing. Um, and then. Um, you know, in the second half, I thought we didn't tackle as well either in the second half. You know, as you hit, hit when those guys hit some of those runs, we got guys there. You know, we're just not getting them down. We're not knocking them down. we got to get better at that. All right, thanks, guys.